good. I was so pleased to get the call from Hampshire Police, who I have to say, the police have been amazing. And what have I'm, they done with these? Well, they're, they're investigating them for other burglaries mm. at the minute. But they so were, it's an ongoing thing. It's so an ongoing thing. Much, but they've caught but they some suspects. they were illegal yeah. immigrants, and they, they came from uh, Merton, actually. They were li mm. they're living in Merton. Well, it's ongoing. But and we, um, they was, they, they're yeah. coming into rural area, areas yeah. to burgle. It's, it's yeah. what they're doing. Because there's so. no, not much police in rural areas. I mean, and, of course, the if cities, they come but... in and somebody in the house had caught them and dealt with them, yeah. The person in the house will be in trouble. Well, that's right. And it can take half an hour to, for police to get there, or an hour or something. I and mean, it, I was very lucky that a farmer had spotted them and um, and called the police. But you and they can came defend yourself. Literally, it, obviously, you could. Uh, you were in the bath. And stuff I was like. in the bath. That's probably why they ran away. Tell me, no. uh, tell me what they're doing with these uh, yobos. I mean, are they? Are they in custody What's or are they on... Well, it's an ongoing investigation. Have they been they bailed or are they been, remanded? Yes. Right, They've been bailed. bailed. What is going on with the... Well, there's no prison Flipping space. There's police no, in this no country. Spaces. What on earth are you coppers doing? Somebody breaks into somebody's house, they get caught, Allegedly. and you get them bail. We don't need... Here's one section of society we could get away with tomorrow and nobody would know. Magistrates. Useless, bloody people. I could be a magistrate, so could mm. you or you. Magistrates, useless. Oh, well, this poor person's had such a hard life. Yeah. Maybe we should just give them another chance. Your diversity, you can stick it where the sun don't mm. shine. I am so fed up mm. with magistrates being the real... And let's get some decent coppers on the streets. And build prisons, Dianetics. build some more see, prisons. You need bobbies on the beach. And the yeah. bloody MPs. Lo yes. Local at local bobbies. Well, that's oh. what, and, and this is why I'm, I'm talking about it today. Almost half of adults admit shoplifting from supermarkets mm. at the moment. And that's because if you steal under £200, pounds, you get a, you know... A, a, and the self-serve tills. You don't even get a slap on the wrist. They let yeah. you get away with it. And now they're trying to in, uh, instil some kind of diversity training into our armed forces. I mean, yeah. that is yeah. the... Imagine that, turning the up most... in a rainbow tank. Yeah. I mean, this is a uh, woke brigade gone mad. And yeah. the, the yeah. fact is, you know, when I got caught up in the demonstrations and it was very, very frightening, um, yeah. I said to the police, well, why aren't you doing anything? Mm. They were chanting all this hate. Yeah. And he said, we're too frightened. Yeah. Well, you we know that. We can the see police. that. That's they well, the, 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 the calibre of the police has dropped. There is still certain units, but there's, the whole police okay. used to be like that. There is a little bit of uh, light at the uh, end of the tunnel, isn't there? Suella Braverman has said that Islamist extremists are now in charge of Britain. I don't agree with that, but I agree that it is something that is a possibility if we carry on. Well, we saw what Parliament, they did but kowtow to them. The, yeah. the thing is, she, she does say what a lot of people are, are thinking, actually, when we yeah. look at all the... All mm. the you know, and as the, usual, the when they say something, they get round. Like Lee Anderson today, whether you agree, well, some Lee people Anderson, will agree with him, and he's had the whip removed. Well, a, a big percentage of the public do believe what Lee yeah. said. He's one of the most honest, direct MPs that we have. What did he, he say, Lee? Do you but know? He, well, Lee actually said that about um, the mayor of London, uh, yeah. that he's, him and his mates are taking over London, basically. And it was a clumsy wording, I suppose, for, well, for Lee to say. Well, look at the marches, though. Uh, but the at, fact is, we have the marches every have weekend. Have we got that little Parliament. clip that we played in the news? Look at the projector um, on Big Ben. Of the uh, Member of Parliament, forgotten his name, you know. Lee Anderson. No, no, the one who was criticising him in the news. Sorry, yeah. I just decided to do this. Oh. And this is uh, Lee Anderson, concern, not Lee Anderson. This is... Um, it was in the news, yeah. Yeah, it, it, was, it, it was a clip in the news, and uh, he was saying, defending the Conservative Party yeah. for taking for away the, the whip. whip. Yeah. And why would you take away the whip? And why, Tories, have you done nothing about the illegal and the legal immigration into this country, which we cannot take anymore? The, the story going around is because it'll improve the GDP the more people we have here. I don't care. There is no housing for people who are on the streets here at the I moment. Know. Yeah. You know, there are ex-military people who can't get anywhere to live who are sleeping in doorways. I spoke to one not long ago. He was sitting in a doorway and obviously he'd got post-traumatic stress mm. disorder. He needs help. He shouldn't be yeah. out on the street. We have not got the time, the money to deal with the criminals and their criminals not migrants. And a security threat. We don't know yeah, who they, they are. Yeah, they are a national security threat. So <laughs> when, when Lee says something that lots of people are thinking might have been a bit clumsy, but if we carry on this way, that is what is going to yeah. happen. But Luckily, the guy from Rochdale was Rochdale, wasn't it? 
Who? What, the, no, the MP who was um, yeah. had the whip taken yes. away. They're Leanderson. about to have it. it was no! He had the, the whip Muslim. taken away. No, oh, you I, don't. I, you are I, He's talking about Ali. Ali uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, Ali, as, yeah. As here, Ali. Ali. Okay. Asir, right. Ali. Asir. But the fact is that, that MPs are now going to feel like they can't speak from their heart. They, they, they're they scared. They're going to be well, they intimidated because if they say anything, they're going to be called well, we a racist. We saw that yesterday. Well, not only yeah. that, they're scared of the threats, which they shouldn't be. You know, they're representing yeah, the country. Yeah, but I want to ask you this, OK? They've so, got so how is Lee Anderson suspended for his views yeah. and Keir Starmer hasn't been brought to task for uh, influencing Lindsay Hoyle, the speaker. Mm. I mean, yeah, why exactly, is that? Yeah. So well, I, yeah. it's, it seems a lot of Well, a bit later standards. on, after nine, we're going to talk to Andy MacDonald, uh, the independent MP for Middlesbrough, and uh, these are a couple of questions I'll ask him. Yeah, but yeah. I, I, for me, I'm, I've had enough of intimidations, enough of threats, enough of these sort of uh, so-called democratic demonstrations. They're not democratic. Without, they're not. And, and the police are doing nothing. Mm. And this wouldn't have happened yeah. to Lee Anderson if the police had actually acted when they were doing <clears> that <throat> from the River to the Sea yeah. on Big Ben. If yeah. the police had, had arrested some people and stopped have. that projection, they could have easily done that. Yeah. It was pointed out at the time by another TV presenter from somewhere else, and they, he pointed it out, and they didn't do anything. He said and you know, the problem put a, is a card in yeah. front of it and just stopped it. The yeah. BBC every night on the news show tragic pictures. They're awful pictures um, of of innocent people uh, being hurt in Gaza. Mm. Some of them, the same ones, repeated over and over again. But there are innocent people Propaganda dying and being BBC. hurt, and it is appalling. They don't show anything from the other we side. Want, to... We want oh, no. peace. Yes, Ask everyone for wants a, peace. Exactly. Having a demonstration about calling for a ceasefire, go on. OK, I'll tell you what, we'll have a ceasefire. Won't make any difference. <laughs> yeah, but the, the war could stop right now, this minute, if yeah. Hamas gave back the hostages and put down their arms. They, they won't. They won't do that. No, of course not. There could be at the end of they this. They don't want the ceasefire, really. And and the, and the fact is, no-one wants a war. We mm. all want peace. We don't want to see children being... You know, well, they do, that's killed, the thing. But it's, you, Hamas need to give yeah. back the hostages. And Will you, um, we sorry. can't forget what happened on the 7th of no, You were being raped right, probably on a daily basis at the moment right now. So I, is, All right, I should be done that. Yeah. I, uh, do going do back that. to the uh, the thing we were talking about, to your, your break-in, have you actually asked the police why these people have been allowed to just go free? They wouldn't tell me anything else because there's other investigations that they will. The, the fact that they identified some, some, they knew it was them. Yeah. And they, they are allegedly. allowing them, allegedly they knew it was them, they're allowing these people yes. to actually go free. They could do anything. Nobody will know. They don't come from this country. They're illegal immigrants. No. Yeah.